was diagnosed about 20 years ago now, and I had in situ carcinoma, and they showed me the mammogram, and it looked like Star Wars. There was so much there, even though it was still in situ. And I had just gotten divorced, and I had just lost my father. It came with a string of extreme dif life difficulties that didn't stop after the cancer. It was a very difficult time of my life. I was down, but I wasn't out, if I can describe it that way. Um, I knew that I had to bring in all of this, the support systems that I could to help me with it, and one was constant prayer. I'm a member of Greater Framingham Community Church because I lived in Framingham at the time, and they've just been so good to me. It's like a family, it's like a home that I go to, not just a church. The day that I was supposed to come home from the hospital, I had asked three people to help me and none of them were available. It just happened that the woman next door to me had a visitor. That visitor was a member of my church and she took me home. There was every single time I needed someone to take me to the doctors or whatever it was, someone was just there for me. And I really think it was an extension of my prayer and the fact that I wasn't really, wor I didn't have a lot of anxiety about it because it happened so consistently. How I live my life is an expression of my faith. My faith is what I do when I'm breathing, when I'm speaking, when I'm sitting next to a person. When you think about the fact that I had had this cancer and my husband left and my children were now no longer under my roof, I had empty nest. I had empty, it seemed like I had empty everything because I, there was so much of a void there. And I'm an incredibly loving person and I love doing things for others. And I was so lonely because I didn't have those people in my life or I didn't have those activities that I wanted to do. And I just didn't know what to do with myself. And I just, the loneliness was just an agony that I couldn't, I, I just had no concept and no, no way to relate to it. And it came to me that there were people who were lonelier than I was. And those are the people who needed me. Now, the first thing I did was call a friend of my mother's who lived in locally. My mother's from Philly, and this friend was local. She was in Boston. And I called her, and I took her and a friend on a date. <laughs> and we went to uh, listen to some jazz. And I bought them flowers, and I drove them there, and I treated them to a meal, just like you would do a date if you were dating someone. And then I started meeting these women in a bookstore, and they were all 20 years older than I was, and they were all very lonely. And because I met those women, my future husband just happened to be in that bookstore at that time, and he saw me, and he was instantly attracted to me because of what I was giving to the people I was with. I'm working with the North Central Massachusetts Faith-Based Community Coalition. That, too, is just another extension of my faith and my belief in God. I wrote this, in the, this ending of this poem, and ends, if it brings joy and laughter, if it brings sorrow or tears, I am filled with ecstasy for I've lived to see this day. And that's how I feel and that's how I live every day.